The book is a, a comprehensive audit of all aspects of democratic life in the UK and it particularly covers Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and London and other governments. So it's, it's both the national and the local and the regional uh, levels. And what it does is it tries to show how well we're doing in lots of different dimensions of democratic practice because democracy is built by having some big institutions like elections and parliaments and so on. But also it's built by a lot of different rules, uh, quite small rules, and some of these switch on and off the big rules and have a big impact. So we're trying to give a very comprehensive, all levels of government, all aspects of democracy, picture of what life in Britain is like in terms of democratic quality. UK democracy has been in crisis ever since the Brexit referendum vote signalled a huge gap between elite and uh, expert opinion and, and voters' views. So we're in the process of making a historic, you know, once in a century change in how the UK operates. And uh, the current way in which things have been going with the, the main parties, the government, the civil service, the passage of the bill through Parliament, all of these have raised huge questions about the viability of the core institutions of British democracy. So lots of smaller pieces like devolution in Scotland and Wales are, are doing well. And we've got some areas of democratic advance, but we've got some really worrying areas of democratic decay. This is the first book from uh, LSE Press, which is a brand new open access digital press from the London School of Economics. And uh, the book is completely free, so you can download it on your Kindle, on your phone, on your PC. And it's all uh, written and edited and, and set up in a way that uh, it, it's trying to help uh, everybody, not just academics or professionals. Uh, it's very easy to read. It's very easy to search. You can find exactly what you're looking for very quickly. All of the uh, references are designed for a, a sort of ebook digital world. So they all lead to um, other materials. When you, when you click on a link, you don't go to a paywall and just get charged for finding out what's behind it. People in Britain have tended to be rather complacent, you know, to think of themselves as being an exemplar of democracy. Actually, we don't rate terribly highly on a democracy scale. And that's because we're still really a, quite a mixed political system. You know, we've got a lot of hangover legacy institutions like the House of Lords and dark state areas that are not very well covered by Parliament. We don't have a written constitution. All of these make uh, put us in a, quite a weak position. Given that liberal democracy is under threat worldwide and that the big trend of the last few years has been the growth of semi-democracies where you have kind of liberal democratic veneer but behind that there's not really the authentic quality that you, you want in democratic life. It behoves us really to, and everybody at large, to, to constantly try to improve British democracy and not just sit on your laurels and assume that everything's okay.